The other weekend, myself and a few friends decided to hike up a mountain in Wales. As we got ready that morning, we weren't quite sure what awaited us. Hello, Harry here, and today we are climbing Penny Fan in the Bracken Beacons with a few friends. Let's go! My friend Tom gave his usual detailed summary of the route. Down here, up here, to there. And so we were off. We progressed towards the mountain. But after a short while, it was decided that a hat throwing competition was in order. And here we are at the hat throwing championships. Oh! Hey! Oh. <laughs> Chris Barnes with the throw to Sam. Oh! In a single beautiful movement, Sam had taken the hat on his head and with it, the title. It was only right that I grabbed a quick interview. I'm here with hat champion catcher, Sam. Sam, what's your technique? Uh, well, it's been a lot of hard work, a lot of training. It's been, it's been a really difficult time for me, actually. I, I, I didn't think I could do it a few months ago, but I um, oh. couldn't get in the right mental zone. Uh, it sort of turned it around. Yep. I, I sat my coach and got a new one. It just wasn't working out between us. Finally, I've done it. We're yeah. here. Congratulations. Thank you. I, I need to take a moment. So we've begun and the fan dance is taking place, which is a race that happens once a year where people run up Penny Fan and back down with a backpack. Just started off. Long way to go. We are about two thirds of the way up. Soon we reached the edge and the views were unsurprisingly spectacular. This soon changed. There is no view. <laughs> we're just in the clouds now. We summited Penny Fan and I asked the hat throwing champion how he felt. Elated, actually. This is one of the defining moments of my life. <laughs> <laughs> a spot of lunch in the clouds, an instant with a bottle, <laughs> <laughs> and we were on our way down. For some reason, hat throwing champion Sam kept stumbling, not once, <laughs> but twice. <laughs> Tom had suggested we go check out a lake, this one. What's that lake called, Tom? It's got no consonants in the word. It's got no consonants? What do you mean no vowels? <laughs> Otherwise it'd be called <laughs> Aoyawa. <laughs> <laughs> if it's got no, it's usually Welsh has no vowels. Yeah, that's the one, yeah, yeah. Then it's is like, this like, like <laughs> Kren, Kren, Kri. Oh, got a bit of spit in my eye there, but thank <laughs> you. Deciding that walking was too slow, we began to slide. Tom, bottle. Tom, your bottle. <laughs> Just don't go. That's right. She, she is an adventurer. Really? <laughs> You're making it look great. Three of the guys went swimming, which meant we would witness the classic emerging from the water moment. One person commented that it was like something from a James Bond film. I wasn't convinced, but let's see. Who are you? Bond. James Bond. After that, the most exciting moment was Tom's partner Poppy, thinking she'd seen like a, a robotic hand. A robotic hand grab her. I was like, yeah. I was like, this is... As it turns out, nothing has happened. But what had happened was an excellent day. With the craziness of screens, cities, and cars in modern day life, it was brilliant to get out into the wild with friends and just hike. I hope we can do it again very soon. As well as making videos, Jog On is also a podcast, so go have a listen. If you like what we do, remember to subscribe. I'm Harry Morgan, and this is Jog On.